Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Triple Studios channel. Today we're going to be making a Flappy Bird style game, so let's jump straight into it. The first thing we want to do is grab our sprite. So as you can see here, we have uh, the original sprite, and I'm just going to edit it so it's more towards our game. So there we go, that's the sprite I'm going to be using. Um, Drag that in the center, and then we're going to rename it to player. Next thing we want to do is grab a new backdrop. So I'm going to choose a backdrop. Uh, blue sky two will do nicely, and I'm going to delete the original one. Then I'm going to go over to the player sprite and go to events. Green flag clicked forever. We want to go to motion. Go to we want to drag our sprite into the position. I'm also going to decrease the size to 75. This is a bit better. Then I'm going to change the position to minus 180 and at zero. So that's the coordinates we want to have. All right. Uh, once we have done this, what we want to do now is code the gravity side of things so what we want to do is create a new variable called well, I'll just rename this and we're going to call it gravity now we're going to set gravity to zero above the forever because that is very important all right so once we have done that we want to now go to motion we want to scroll down, change Y, make sure it is change Y, not change X, otherwise that game won't work properly. And we want to change Y by gravity, and we want to change gravity by minus one. I think that should work. So now if we click play, our player will drop. Next up, what we want to do is code it so the player can actually flap their wings as it would be in the original game. So what we want to do is go to events, we just go to one green flag clicked, control forever, if then operate uh, sensing, key space pressed, then change gravity by 10, and then we want to um, wait until not space is pressed. The next thing we want to do is make a new sprite, so go over here, choose a sprite or you could make your own sprite I'm gonna make my own actually um, and I'm just gonna do two purple lines like that there we go I'm gonna rename the sprite to wall there we go, I'm going to set it to zero, 0, and the code we are going to use is uh, events, one green flag clicked, control, forever, create clone of myself, wait three seconds, and then we want when I start as clone, we want to show. Now we want to go to 240. Right. Then we want to wait until wait until x is less than uh, motion. Grab this. X position here, and we want to set it to minus 240, and then we want to delete the clone, and we want to in here we want to change y, change x by minus five. So now, if we can play here. Can see barriers are coming along 
nicely. All right, so this does work. However, this pipe here just remains to be stuck in the middle of the screen, which is not good. So all we have to do is go over to the show bit here and click the hide button there. And however, each wall will be in the same place, which isn't too hard. So what we want to do is go to operators, pick random, minus 100 to 100, and play it now. They are now random in terms of where they are, which is lovely. However, we might need to make sprites a bit bigger, like that. There we go. And then when we touch it, you don't actually fail. So what we need to do is go to the player, go to events, when green flag clicked, control forever, if then sensing, touching, wall. Um, we want to control stop all. But then before that we want to change backdrop to and then we're going to paint a new backdrop. I'm just going to get a back screen, fill it in like that, make sure it's centered, get some nice white text on my screen over. We want to switch backdrop to backdrop one. I'm going to actually rename that to make it a bit nicer. Game over, there we go. And then we want to also hide our player sprite. However, we're just going to make a piece of code much easier for this. Uh, so, all we want to do is when green flag clicked forever, if uh, if then else, uh, grab an equal to looks backdrop number is equal to one then show else hide and all we do is to drag them to the wall sprite as well and I believe we need to go to backdrops events when green flag clicked switch backdrop to blue sky as you can see here we go but instead of doing this for the walls as you can see there it's now showing don't want that. We can just uh, when green flag clicked. Let me just get those blocks back. There we go. All right. So when backdrop number equals equal to e is equal to one, we want to get rid of them. We want to get rid of the if then else. We just need an if then. Backdrop number is equal to two. We just need to delete this clone. As you can see now, if you touch it, game over. Lovely stuff. However, it's all fun games, but we do not have a scoring system at the moment. So, what I want to do is create a new variable. Create a new variable. Score. And I'm going to go to player. And we're going to need to create this course for so the wall sprite uh, set gravity there obviously we're going to change gravity to score uh, now we need to change score by one we're going to set score to zero if we show the score there uh, I can't actually do my own game there's one. I don't know why I went back down because I said there. Uh, oops. Make sure you guys do not do the same mistake as I did. But I feel like they are too slow. So I'm going to go to operators, pick random, two to three seconds, and now there'll be more variation. 
how quick the pipes start spawning. Uh, which is good. And that is how to make a flappy bird game in Scratch. I hope you guys didn't find this tutorial helpful. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Goodbye.